Hey guys, might check. One, two, three. Let's go to the photos. You guys can see a lot of the background. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the stream. So I will be practicing Misano. Uh, Misano's race is tomorrow. And yeah. Uh, let's see how well this goes. Um, I've changed some settings a bit now and then I think it should work so I should be able to stream and then uh, yeah so we'll see how it goes and I've also changed my mic um, oh and I remember something I did not do that uh, I didn't change my thing there The, uh, what's that called? Well, uh, whatever that's called. I don't remember. So, turn that on, and then you should see my orange text moving. But it's not going to be about Misano. Uh, so, I'm going to have to change that. Uh, I will not be racing, I will be practicing. My personal best at Misano currently is only a 36 uh, 2 in the race stream. So there's a bit more time to get. Um, yeah. And I've also changed my mic settings. Uh, so if you guys can let me know if you guys like the mic settings or not, uh, that would be fantastic. I don't want to hear myself. I've been hearing myself for a bit now, <laughs> which is not good. All right. Uh, so, right. Um, yeah, so if you guys like the mic settings, I've added a bit of bass and I've removed the sibilance. So hopefully you don't hear me hissing so much. And I think I am ready, so I should be ready now. Let's just jump, start session. Yeah, uh, so today's gonna be a quick one. I'm not sure uh, what we're gonna look at specifically in Motec because I haven't been practicing for Misano, so I'm not really uh, not perfected the lap or anything. So we'll see. And I have no idea uh, if I'm doing things right or not. Right, I will be loading uh, this modified set and 25. I'll keep it as it is. We're doing qualifying. I'll use tie set 1. Uh, electronics, I had to change this to 4. I can't control my trophy input, so I have to do that. And then the rest, I think, should be. Right, so, yeah, that is all. Green light. Give it all uh, you got. Hopefully my thing's not moved. Let's move the bit. So let's reset that. And let's have a look. Misano has a long exit, um, pit lane exit. So you will lose a bit of time. And yeah, so we'll see. Everyone has to go through it. And the exit point is just by this corner, and then there. Should, that, should be a little bit consistent frames. So, the reason why I was dropping frames before is because. Um, I, so my computer is quite old and the CPU is actually bottlenecking. It's not uh, it's not to do with the graphics card or anything, it's just that the CPU is small. It's an i7, but then it was an i7 from 10 years ago, which is 
equivalent to an i3 at the moment. So, uh, it's great, but it's not the best or anything, so that's why I call it my potato. And I'm actually quite happy that it can stream. Uh, I never knew this thing can actually stream. But yeah, it can. So, uh, enough about my computer. Let's talk about what's the goal for Mutech. What do we want to see in Mutech? Uh, let's just have to keep that in mind. So, to see something in Mutech, we first have to do consistent maps. And that is the first goal to do consistent maps. And then to then compare in Mutech and see okay, where exactly can I improve from that. To show you some tricks, uh, some tricks that I've learned uh, while practicing for the summer. Still, uh, full speed. So that sequence of corners is my Achilles heel at the moment. It is so technical and I've been messing it up. So one thing's for sure we're gonna get that same thing that we saw in Hungaro Ring, where I have inconsistencies uh, at that location. And that's the same with the uh, Hungaro Ring last time where I had Inconsistencies in the second or third sector, the sequence of things. Yeah, I'm just dropping the head bias to the rear so that it's a bit stable because we are in a corner. And with the default or with the setup that I got here, it's a bit too much for the front, and the front bites so much that the rear is too loose. Hanging out, and when that happens, I just, uh, it's easier to turn, easier to lose the rear. I think I did a quality run before, and I did get a 35. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did get a 35. My run. So, a 35 is really cool. I'm not gonna get it if I do that. This might be better, but I think it's only a 36. So. This corner also are not so consistent. Like the breaking point and all is okay. It's just that the cornering speed that I carry is inconsistent lap after lap. So. We get a fast one in and then I just lose it. So, let's see. Let's see what times we can do. I've only got 10 AIs. Um, I've been trying my luck with a lot more AI. And yeah, it's not working out, especially if I want to stream at the same time. So, I'll try it only with 9 AIs. I think it'll give me. Good enough completion. Well, this should be something exciting happening as well. And then we can, uh, this won't be a boring race. So 36.3, that's the best time uh, that I can do in race string at the moment. And I can go a bit faster, I just need to do a proper first and second sector. So coming up to the end of first sector. I missed my breaking point. That's not gonna be good. Nah. <laughs> car understeers out. Uh, and it's just to do with me not positioning the car, right? It's, it's, that is why I lost, uh, I lost the front. So that corner, you really have to position the car properly. Um, if not, then you have to leave 
like and if you lift then you lose so much time at the back street so right now i'm about six and a half seconds it's fine i think the car in front will slow down and um so I, I like this gap where i have seven seconds to the car in front and seven seconds to the car behind it's a good gap Pressure is a bit low, uh, and in ECC, pressure is very good, uh, especially if you're if you're running a setup. Uh, you have to make sure that your pressures are the same. So if you're practicing in your practice server or uh, practice sessions is at a certain temperature, and then you go, right, I want to drive or I want to go into a race, and then uh, the your tire pressures are different. Uh, you will definitely feel the car. You definitely feel the car are behaving differently, uh, and that's just because the tires in the CC are very sensitive. And then I'm assuming that's the case also in real life uh, with the Pirellis that they have. That they are very sensitive to these pressure changes, and because you're driving at the limit. So, in a way it's good, uh, it's very sensitive because then it's feedback for the driver that something's not right and then, yeah. And in another case it's not so nice because uh, you have to be very precise with your pressure settings. Yeah. So you've got one more left. Correct pressures and I'm just pressing the brake and accelerate at the same time. I'm okay, so I couldn't keep my car in the track. Uh, yeah, so that is qualifying done. I am P8. Uh, that is bad. Nice, well, just put in my qualifying. Should just put my qualifying uh, fuel. Oh, sorry, my race stream fuel. And could have gotten the same that. Oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. So, uh, yeah. I can make it. So, 11 seconds to go. Definitely can't make it. What I'll do is I'll practice pit entry, even though we don't have a pit entry. Um, yeah, definitely nothing that we can see in Motec. For now, we, we, uh, we can't see anything from Motec uh, from the qualifying session, that's for sure. We can use the... Uh, we can use... Fastest lap that I did as, as a reference lap, but yeah, uh, it's not going to be useful or anything. Right, so that was qualifying done. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is uh, where I expect the silver class um, leaders to be, maybe third or fourth would be there. Uh, the aliens I guess would be about low 34s, probably high 33s depending.
but that's what I'm expecting. And yeah, uh, to be honest, this is yeah, this is the reason why I set it up this way. Uh, it's sort of representative of what uh, the guys in the league is doing. Uh, so yeah, uh, if I can be on pace at least, then I know uh, for the race I'm quite sorted. So far I'm at the back of the field, so that's a good indicator of where I'm going to be. Hopefully the stream's okay. Um, uh, 30 minute race. I just need to put things in here so that I know how much fuel. Last thing I want to do is to start the race and then stop halfway because I didn't put enough. So 30 minutes, uh, short formation, I'm doing 136, well, 36.5 and I'm doing 2.5. So I need 50 laps worth of fuel uh, for this session uh, and I will just put maybe I'll put 55 just to be safe. Sorry, excuse me. Right. Go in double file. Missions on. Engine start. So I'm going somewhere behind. Let's see. Being on an inside for turn one is very difficult. I um, won't want to do that for the choice. Car on the left. That's my big thing. Okay, head down and let's do this. I didn't change my pressures, I didn't check. Cars coming through here. The brake line is back. Stable. Brake line and then here to fix up. Here it doesn't matter. Um, I just get the same settings. Let's chase that Honda and then make our way up. Oh, it's really exciting. So so exciting. I didn't change my brake bias. So normally I would change the brake bias down. 
here on the back street. And then I will ship it up at the start finish street. So back to where it was originally. And the reason for this is because I want see how the car was starting to slide? Uh, I wanted to control that. So moving the brake bias to the rear helps with that. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's still very much dependent on my brake inputs. So I'm a bit rough on the brake inputs, then you just need to all start spinning. Brake bias is there, so you might as well use it to help stabilize the car. Uh, pressure looks good, maybe a tad too low on the rear. But car feels as how I expected it and how I practiced it, so it seems fine. Get now down to 3.5 and 4.1 for a second faster. It's good. Status. I am getting so so much studies. That was bad. That was hard. I'm doing about I did my practice uh, my qualifying time in race train so that's uh, even faster now so that's what I was saying that I could have just put race stream and still get my poly lab in It's just when you're not used to uh, polytrain. And I am taking like, the most basic approach to polytrain, which is whatever race uh, setup that I have, and then reduce the fuel. That is my race stream. I don't do anything extra. <laughs> I don't change that like, uh, to make the car a bit more tail happy so that it snaps and turns it on and whatnot. I just keep it the same, same settings that I have. Uh, I missed that breaking point. I'm use a lot of time. Still catching up the car here, so not too bad. So I think in, in the MoTeC, at least for this few opening laps, uh, you'll definitely see comparable lap times. But then, 
uh, they won't be persistent because I'm not consistent at all. One of these corners, like that one just now, was too too hot in. Still make the corner, but it wasn't the nicest way. Huh? It wasn't tracking this. Okay, interesting. This is the and go in. So this would be most likely where I'm gonna overtake him. Just have to make sure I can follow him properly. And then yeah, try overtake him. I will not be able to apply pressure if I keep doing that. Haha, <laughs> mana ada lah Biasa je uh, 
Ne kan jeg hold der, da? Tak boleh maintain 35 Tak maintain 35 pun Buat 36 Ini tak main ni? I wasn't, couldn't remember where my brake tires was. So the car was a bit loose uh, under here because the brake tires was not set for that corner. Okay, need needs to go okay. so let's try maintain the same place and then let's try I think I can get in, turn one. It's 
this. Pressure, apply pressure, kau kau. Kerja BMW lah. Six seconds, seven seconds. Alright, let's do this. Might be hard. Bump the rear pressure. The rear pressure is too low. Starting to slide. Still six seconds. Okay. 
five laps to go, or seven minutes to go, then not lah. This time not last. <laughs> Sano banyak Very technical actually This strap Especially this section here Kena position the car betul-betul Ambil curb ni Full throttle There we go But still Pressure is gone. Tarik tak join ke? Alamak, kenapa tak join? Masuk ke track ni pening Oh, track ni memang Technical tu Hei Apa je lah AI 
Ini nanti kau dah start busy balik kan Ini PKP dah habis Dah boleh start shoot balik kan Dia banyak Corner dia banyak And then dia punya Breaking marker tu Tak senang sangat lah Untuk semua kot Untuk ni Ya yeah, few corners yang Okay lah Dia senang nak Budget agak Nak break kat mana ah. I see So minggu ni busy lah Salah ambil Ah, banyak pasang dalam Corner tu kalau tak betul ambil Kesama ada Kita slow Hilang masa Ataupun dapat track warna Aku rasa esok pun akan jadi macam Kat hanggar road ni A lot of uh, people Akan dapat drive through Misano, misano Dahlah aku Aircon aku tak betul kan Berpeluh lah huh? Alright So uh, Tadi Buat This Oh Ah that 35 Oh macam ni Menggalit that Aduh Okay Alright, kita gain paling banyak masa dekat mana Dekat first sector First and second sector The rest, yeah uh, Third sector is quite average 33, 33, 38, 38, 38, 38, 38, 38, 38, Uh, kau ada je eh Mi Sejap tadi lap berapa eh Kita pergi garage Nanti ber So 3.5.4 lap ke 6 Jom kita tengok Lap 6 Change kan dulu Alright So Apa yang kita buat tu Take that corner Cut that corner that's correct Then cut dekat sini Then here breaking marker 
fill in and then markkan this curve as much as possible and then fill out ah ok so the track track limit is because of that lah should be you can't believe should be the thing so here Uh, turn in awal sangat Maybe boleh lambat sikit Because this was Ataupun uh, I slide you Tu lah kita punya leak tu Makin lama makin kurang orang Boleh kot bersia-sia esok Aku ni pun Sama ada aku dapat drive through Sebab banyak sangat track limit Ataupun aku spin <laughs> Join jari Tak ramai orang boleh dapat poin Ah ok Tinggal masa kat situ screen ha all right no uh. ah korang dengar okey tak uh, music music kuat eh apa music pula uh, bunyi engine tu terlalu kuat ke ataupun balance dia okey ke macam mana alala korang dah ada hey, kita tanya tanya sikit Alright, so Motec time. This was it. So let's open. Okay, so uh, jom kita tengok. This would be game so slow skit eh. Alright, um, suara slow skit. Up skit lagi. Uh, test, test, test. Okay tak? Tak pun nak kena kuat sikit lagi. Kita buat lima. Uh, kita try macam ni. Okay kot, suara slow. Alright. Okay. Uh, kita cuba lagi satu. Try sekarang. Uh, now up lagi, up lagi tujuh, tujuh setengah. Ah uh, macam ni ya, macam ni okay kuat. Kalau nak up lagi bagi tahu, dan kita up lagi. <laughs> Alright, uh, okay mutek ni, jom kita tengok sebab mutek ni susah sikit sebab dia punya tak sure line dia nampak ataupun tak. Tapi kita try. Alright, so Okay, okay, alright. Then kita biar macam ni. Okay, so uh, Motec will be kita punya reference. Sorry, uh, thirty-five four ni will be the reference lah. And then untuk ni kita akan ambil yang lain lah. Tiga puluh enam, low thirty-six kita akan ambil. Five, uh, low thirty-six lagi ada tak? Hmm. So kita ada 5 data point should be okay. Jom kita tengok. So um show select. Alright. Uh, <laughs> okay, so 
the first few corners dekat Misano ni aku memang fail sikit so this section uh, first sector is until this corner uh, dia sebelum the long straight tu and honestly speaking first corner ni ok lah aku tak aku rasa I can motek kecil sangat ni sekejap uh, kita gerakkan motek kasih besar lagi and then video ni tak payahlah kecil tak apa tak apa tinggal ni ok try macam ni Kawis sikit green screen kat belakang tu bodoh nampak tengok kerja orang malas logo pun tak alih hehe <laughs> Okay lah ni boleh lah. Alright. So. Um, macam ni motep boleh nampak kat sini. Should be better lah. Uh, cuma ni tak nampak sangat dekat tepi ni. Uh, Alright. So. Motep. Right now. Mouse. Mouse pun boleh nampak sini. Mouse boleh nampak. Alright. Okay, so right now, um, okay, with more tech, macam mana nak tahu address, nak address uh, issues kita dekat mana is, so this lab time yang I pilih is all about the same. So apart from the, from this one, 35.4 uh, ni, yang lain semua is around the same. So 36, uh, 36.3, 36.2. So lab time is about the same. So ideally line dia akan jadi sama lah. Sepatutnya dia akan just at one spot altogether. But as you can see ada banyak deviation. So yang ni dia tak dapat. So this corner yang warna biru ni uh, whichever lap that is dia terlampau slow. And some, for some reason kita nanti kalau kita focus just on the blue uh, it's too slow on the dekat corner first corner ni. But then kita break up at the other areas. That's why kita jadi uh, we still get the same consistent lap time, tapi kita tak consistent through each of the corners. So uh, and Misano is uh, one of those tracks yang aku memang tak boleh nak jadi consistent lah. And problematic area is uh, turn one generally okay, kecuali this one lap. That one is odd one out. Turn one, turn two. And turn 3 all looks okay. So this is turn 1. Uh, sorry, this is turn 1. This is breaking point for turn 1. Breaking point uh, actually quite okay. Sebab breaking at the same spot. So kalau nak tahu breaking tu is at the same spot ataupun tak. Just tengok dekat sini lah. Normally, uh, ideally, it should you should start uh, to be very close to each other. And if you really want to, you can check. Okay, berapa jarak dia berapa. So this line yang warna biru ni the reason why we are too slow is because and they lari sikit daripada yang lain is because we break too early most likely kita tengah follow uh, the Honda in front tadi and that's why uh, dia jadi macam ni lah but apart from that so maybe we can remove this blue color line ok uh, so apart from that everything else is ok so this one Turn 1 is okay lah maybe our speed we can control so yang ni is to do with how uh, quickly I lepas break uh, trail breaking but generally okay turn number 2 yang ni kita write kena write the curve so if I have I don't have ACC open so this one kena write the curve a bit and let's go back to this one and go in ACC. Let's just go to the replay and let's take the 35 minute lap, so lap 6. Ah, there. Oh, 
we'll go inside on board. And if I can get so break and then going in, makan kerb banyak, stay to the right and then makan kerb so that you dapat ni, dapat macam tu. I'm going to go uh, to take as, as shallow line as possible for this corner. And yeah. Dah jadi macam track guide pula. Tapi tak apa. So this one, this corner ni is problematic. Problematic bukan problematic apa sangat pun. Actually this blue line ni. Uh, this blue line walaupun dia nampak macam okay. It looks like you're going faster through the corner. But if you notice lepas tu kena lift. We had, I had to lift here. So that I don't miss this uh, this corner afterwards. And that is why walaupun ni sebenarnya aku understeer out ni. This corner. This lap number 2 which is on lap 10. So let's have a look at lap 10. So a second back. Here I was faster and I should be oh. always stay out there. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I can be faster. Ah. Oh, kau tak tunjuk motek. Sorry, sorry. Sekejap ni. OBS. Pause. Aku guna satu screen je ni <laughs> So jadi confusing sikit Mana nak Mana nak tengok mana nak ni Alright so uh, This just uh, Tadi yang aku nak tengok is actually this one So This blue line it, This blue line Is uh, Warna putih ni Warna putih. Yeah. So. Um, doesn't seem. Doesn't seem anything wrong tadi. Uh, in terms of the. What can I say? If you look on the onboard. Nampak macam okay. So. Oh, susah pula aku nak buat ni. Macam ni. Tukar ni. I go to display capture. Lagi senang. Alright. This display capture. I am going to do this. One second. Let me just distress. Distress. Cannot. Okay, Right, there we are. So it should be easier now. So more tech can be seen and then I can also jump to ACC quite easily. Alright, so this one. Um, <laughs> tak apa. Aku pun tengah trial and error ni. Tak apa, tak apa. So this one. Uh, so whenever you see a line macam ni ke dalam more tech, you have to ask the question, okay. Kalau aku boleh laju and doesn't seem to be a problem on on the onboard, then it could mean that you could have taken this uh, this corner faster. And so kita tengok balik, alright, onboard. We want to see turn two. Kalau kita tengok turn two, taking turn two, braking. I have a bit of oversteer, but generally I made the corner quite well. Yeah. Uh, let's just double check that lap. Ah, okay. Hey, hey, hey. That wasn't the lap. That was not the lap. So, fastest lap was lap 13. Uh, and lap 13 dalam motek. So, one thing to remember uh, dalam motek ni. Uh, dia termasuk sekali with uh, the qualifying punya session. So, lap 8 is lap 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 5, 6 and so on and so forth lah. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 kan. Oh, aku pun dah confused. Return to garage. Time table. Back. Lap 6 was this 1 minute 35. Alright. So, scroll back to Motec. So that means, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So lap 10 is lap 3. Lap 3 in game. Let's go back to the replay. So lap 3. Lap 3. Ah, alright. So that corner wasn't taken quite nicely. Uh, So the turn one is fine. Uh, could be a bit more to the right. Ambil ni, masuk. Yeah, but it was too fast. So notice how I could pull, uh, understeer out. And so this means that kalau aku try juga nak buat this corner at higher speed, most likely I will understeer out macam uh, that lap just now lah. So, all the other instances is sort of correct, uh, the speed that I take. So, that's how you macam nak validate, okay, aku boleh pergi laju lagi ke, ataupun aku punya, um, punya speed through that corner is okay ataupun tak. Uh, you can use more tech, but just keep in mind that uh, this is untuk kau uh, build consistency. It doesn't mean that you want to be faster or whatever. It, this is just for you to okay keep in mind how do you be a bit more consistent throughout your whole stint. If you want to be faster, then you would compare that to your uh to your fastest lap. And in this case, the fastest lap that I did was thirty five four, and aku the thirty five four was actually is. Uh, smack on what I'm doing anyways so that means okay I won't whatever I'm doing this is correct I just have to be a bit more consistent and then yang ni aku tak touch sangat sebab it's generally the same this first corner which is in, nak masuk through the hairpin uh, aku so aku have a tendency in the game yang aku tend to tak sure bila nak release the break fully so aku trail break but then aku punya release of the trail breaking tu is tak consistent and dalam game aku boleh or during race aku boleh tahu yang okay aku tak consistent kadang-kadang aku terlampau lama terlampau sekejap and you can sort of see that in the data juga that there are times where aku release too early aku release too too late or about the same time but ada masa aku release too too early and if it's too early uh, kalau kita tengok yang warna biru ni it will just release too early but then aku understeer out so aku tak uh, and aku akan later on the throttle compared to if I press the brake longer and aku can go on the throttle earlier right but generally this is, this is still okay uh, corner yang so this is the first sector. Yang second right hander ni. This bit before. Uh, so this corner. And then the corner after. This corner here. Is a very challenging corner. And aku still tak dapat benda tu betul. Uh, you can upshift up to second. Untuk sort of stabilize the car. And also reduce the top. Uh, to spare you that over still. But the idea is you want to go in that corner. You want to take as much curb as possible. Supaya you. you come out on this side of the track without that wheel spin. And then you will have this corner flat. And it's very, 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 very technical.
And aku still pun tengah nak practice lagi macam mana nak buat benda tu. And as you can see, banyak gila aku punya variants. And sebab benda ni is connected to a long straight, if you miss, you mess up this corner, you mess up your uh, high speed at, at the end of that, at the end of that straight. So the difference here, okay lah, maybe not, not as, uh, not so much difference, uh, about 3 kilometers an hour, but macam the Aston, problem the Aston is, uh, you tak boleh nak accelerate as fast as the other cars. <laughs> Selalu buat mistake, ya. Yeah. Corner ni memang, memang is is really easy to do, to do a mistake. Aku pun ni, but it's actually just the positioning of the car. Kalau position of the car is correct, then that corner can be taken quite nicely. So macam ni, aku lift supaya aku boleh masuk dalam corner ni properly. And then, Uh, rembat, actually aku boleh rembat lagi banyak that, that curve yang ni aku dapat uh, aku dapat track limit warning sebab aku went on to that uh, outside curve and corner ni memang uh, memang dajjal lah kalau ikutkan sebab dia you have to be fast at this corner to to be fast on the track and get that lap time but yeah kalau kau salah, sama ada kau kena lift off and then kau suffer on the street ataupun kau akan dapat track pun memang siut lah corner ni so uh, yang ni memang aku tahu aku aku kena improve lagi uh, so and motek pun memang tunjuk sebab variance dia sangat tinggi there's a lot and yeah so aku kena ni motek pun memang ni lah shows yang beli yang sama This corner, I would say generally it's the same. Uh, issue dia is aku sama ada aku trail break terlampau banyak ataupun trail break terlampau sikit and then aku akan uh, oversteer out. So that is fine. Uh, this one, <laughs> this one, here, okay. Macam tadi, uh, corner yang previously, all the break breaking points is generally the same at the same point. So, boleh nampak benda tu uh, sebab dia punya drop from the highest speed, uh, starting point dia adalah sama. But here, as you can see, dia punya starting point tu berbeza-beza. And it's because this corner memang reference point dia bagi aku non-existent juga ah. Like, kalau kau tengok track guide, dia orang cakap you boleh use this as reference ataupun use the curbs ataupun something lah. But honestly, it's very hard to find the right reference and aku still tak tak jumpa juga ah this corner here. Sebab there's literally nothing. Nothing to to see. So if I turn on can I turn on the track guide? No. Oh, tak boleh pusing. Ha, boleh. Ha. Alright, tak boleh pusing-pusing. Eh. Ni tak boleh pusing. Okay, ni boleh pusing. Ha. So, sini. Mana pos. Memang tak ada breaking marker langsung. So here aku dah break, but then aku break maybe ni pakai agak-agak je lah this corner. And so let's have a look kalau dalam faster slap ni kat mana aku break. And I start to break. So just I guess this can be my breaking marker. Right. So here, cari ni lah. Cari this point as a breaking mark. Ke, ya, yeah, aku pun rasa kena break kat situ. Sebab aku memang, aku tak, <laughs> memang kalau kau tengok ni, memang ni lah. This is, 
beza sangat dia punya apa dia punya breaking breaking points untuk aku beza dia is what oh, oh. 24 meter beza between first breaking point and the last breaking point aku dalam data set ni eh, interestingly enough Uh, yeah, so the red, uh, red point, what the red point? Eh? Ampak pun. Oh, tu ha. So yeah, aku kena break earlier. Break there. And then yeah, that would be the ideal ni lah, ideal case. Right, so yang ni view sudah data ni ya satu je alright and this uh, yeah this corner memang aku pun tak sebabkan aku punya break Breaking point tak consistent, then aku tak boleh nak consistent through this corner. So, if I can manage to do a consistent break, hmm? macam mana nak keluar line compare difference tu? Ah, tekan space bar. Tekan space bar, and then dia akan keluar a second line. And then kalau dah dah guna, tekan D, and then dia akan hilang. So, kalau nak tahu, okay, uh, difference between two points on the ni, you use a uh, space bar, and then you can drag. And then kat bawah tu dia akan tulis, Uh, berapa beza dia in terms of distance ataupun in terms of second so this the difference in terms of second is 0.3 seconds so 0.3 is quite quick but because of 0.3 you're moving 24 meters and that is uh, quite significant in terms of right then uh, This corner. Okay. This corner is after the straight. And this corner. Aku have a tendency untuk take it very very slow. At 150. When I should or can take it at 170. And masa aku buat. Lab ni pun tadi aku realise benda tu Actually I can go I'm dropping to third when I don't need to drop to third So let's just jump Let's go So one, two Yeah so I can take it in fourth and then Take it faster But then aku kena break earlier lah untuk this, this hair team So, sebab aku, I break at the same spot, generally the same spot, very very similar breaking, very minimal difference, right, cumanya aku break terlampau lama, so aku hilang time dekat situ, right, so what I need to do is, uh, which fourth, ah, okay, dia macam ni tau, corner ni yang aku, okay, let's show steering angle ada, okay, yang ni aku rasa boleh tunjuk kat sini, lebih betul kat sini, uh, ni, yes, so this is the corner, so break, aku break, But then, notice how tak boleh nak, kau tak boleh nak lepas tau, kau kena, memang corner ni memang kena trail. Kalau kau lepas terus, rear tu akan snap sebab kau tengah corner and then kau tengah let go of the brake. But if kalau kau trail, kau release slowly, dia punya uh, weight transfer tu tak, weight transfer tu tak mengejut tau. So, bila dia tak mengejut, Then dia akan, bila kau ambil corner tu dia akan stable. And it also helps, macam kalau kau perasan, aku punya brake bias ni, aku 
specifically untuk corner ni aku akan move to the rear supaya aku uh, rear tu stable sikit under braking sebab but this is car to car dependent macam on every other corner aku punya brake bias is further forward tapi untuk corner ni aku move slightly to the back sebab aku nak dia stable sikit ha. tapi it might be yang ni kau kena try lah uh, kalau kau tekan brake tu and kau rasa belakang kau loose then you can uh, move the brake bias maybe 1% ke ke belakang and then try ambil corner tu sebab dia akan buat kau lagi confident untuk ambil corner tu lagi laju actually aku yang ni honestly yang ni pun aku baru baru nak explore the higher speed ni sebab biasanya aku ambil third and then aku slow down gila-gilanya and then untuk macam sebab dah biasa kan and this all uh, all this time aku memang tak tak main dengan brake bias cuma tadi masa untuk session ni aku just saja nak try uh, brake bias ke belakang and actually aku gain a bit more confidence in the car that actually dia memang boleh and because of that you can gain a lot of time actually kat sini so yeah uh, aku pun belajar something new juga sebenarnya <laughs> bukan expert dalam dalam apa this track but is is actually quite surprising how much difference so it's about 20 km an hour is a lot uh, through through that corner can try lah then uh happen happen ni pun break dia aku kena work on it lah sebab uh, aku ni tak consistent but my break marker should be and is definitely the 50 meter board and 50 meter board ni selari dengan line ni so aku memang lalu je atas line ni aku break cuma kadang-kadang tu aku terlebih sikit kurang sikit so yang ni aku kena practice kata kena practice tapi race esok bila nak practice <laughs> alright then the rest the rest generally tak ada issue sangat lah yang ni corner ni aku lift aku lift sikit some cars kau boleh ambil full throttle but other cars kau kau boleh ni and then last corner hmm last corner ni pun tak tak cantik ah last corner breaking point aku sangatlah lari half a second biasa can also 24 meters biasa between uh, breaking points then at the end of the day ok yang ni aku tak boleh nak guna uh, I can't use yang ni untuk as reference sebab aku last-last aku lap belakang dengan Honda ni so dia slow down uh, let's return to garage and have a look timing lowest timing for this so 33831 834 Alright. So actually, okay, it could be yang these two laps aku belakang kereta, so that's why aku break awal sikit. So this one Ha. Huh, Dia boleh check benda tu. Lap 10 6 5 4 3. Oh, yang ni pun aku belakang lap. So ignore this too. So actually is quite okay this corner sebab dia punya braking marker is quite uh, quite clear. Lap 6 lap 16 brake marker dia quite clear uh, which is this 50 meter board tu brake, trail masuk and then call alright slow down Okay. 
so CD. Kalau kau set up the car correctly, you can you can flat out dekat sini. Cuma ada risk kau akan overshoot that turn lah. But here, 50 meter marker, break. And then, trail. So trail and turn in. And then bila dah dapat, dah grip, dah ni. Then tekan minyak all the way. Yeah. Then just straighten the car up lah. Ini aku ter slightly wide. Alright. But this is generally how to do it lah for this corner. So yeah. Yang ni 50 meter marker. So. Corners yang aku kena improve. The fast. Uh, fast right hander. Aku boleh pergi lagi laju. Gear 4. And then. Err. Uh, Corner sebelum straight ni. And also the hairpin. This hairpin sini. Aku kena check aku punya ni. Ha, yes. Boleh flat out. Sama dengan Aston ni pun. Kalau default aggressive pun boleh. With the. Kau pun boleh dapat. Tapi kau kena white. White and then kau kena makan curb tu. And dia punya timing tu kena kena ngam lah. Kalau tak ngam tu memang <laughs> uh, apa? You invalidate your lap. Aduh, eh. tension betul lap kau ni. Mana ni tadi lap kau ni? Lapan lap enam. So yang ni ke sini pun sikit. Actually this uh, Sini Right So kita tengok uh, Kena white tengok ni aku dah nak kena rambut strip ni And then throttle is full Oh ni aku lift actually sikit Hmm That 16 Cuba kita tengok ni corner ok ni tak ni so ni compromise so aku terlampau slow actually but still aku ni ok not good example sebab aku compromise tadi ni better sikit so also boleh white lagi ni pun leave Kalau nak selamat lift lah. Sama ada benda. Maybe untuk qualifying kalau buat one lap wonder. Maybe boleh try untuk full throttle. But I know macam mamat-mamat uh, laju dalam kita punya group pun. Dia orang dia akan slide lift dekat situ. Sebab it's, it's quite tricky. Macam you can. Sebab dia... High risk, high reward juga lah dia punya corner ni. Sebab kalau ha, takut kena drive through and then kalau macam kau dah dapat you are green, let's say you're one second ahead and then sebab corner tu kau tak, kau decide untuk tak lift then sia-sia je kot. <laughs> Habis qualifying lap punya, punya ni, punya timing. Just because uh, tak nak lift kan. So best untuk lift lah. Aku pun memang aku dah, masa memory aku is untuk lift. Slide lift pun better daripada tak lift langsung. So yeah. And that is all actually. Uh, oh dia. Yeah. Right. So. Tu je lah. Aku punya plan hari ni. Buat uh, race and then tengok mutek. So tu je lah. Ada apa-apa question lagi tak? Cik, sebelum aku end my stream. Yeah, uh, thanks Wei Shami uh, and Arik watching.
appreciate it and then kalau ada apa-apa nak tanya just ya yeah, ask away lah apa aku boleh tolong aku tolong insyaAllah and then esok race lah jangan tak race eh. kita race berat sama-sama <laughs> nervous nak race <laughs> nak pun nak nervous ni relax lah kan yang makan orang pun <laughs> Alright, then thank you guys for watching. Uh, itu saja time aku. Alright, then see you guys. Bye bye. Aku kena ada apa? Stream is ending punya punya ni ya. Stream is starting je. Alright, ciao guys. <laughs>